Right, this probably won't be a particularly um, interesting or long video. I'm trying to find which pump, um, which pipe it is which split. There's plenty of fluid everywhere. Uh, I'm suspecting. You can see, I can't get my hand in there at all. But there's about there three splits on that pipe. I'm wondering if that's the the culprit. There's three splits there, one, two, and three. Just on that pipe there. I'm wondering if that's the culprit. I might have to take the bumper off again. I've had enough of taking this bloody bumper off. It means I have to take the headlights off, and every time I take the headlights off, they go out of line, and I have to spend ages putting them back in line again. Um, I can't see any any other place where they might where it might be split. But I'll have a look about. I'll have a look about as I'm. Under here, and see what else I need to get. Well, I've got a stubborn, you always come across one stubborn nut or bolt. I've got one here. Um, the other side come out alright, this side did a bit, bit rusty there, but it come out okay. Um, it was actually only held on by one bolt, one nut, sorry. That's all it was holding that one on. There's meant to be one. How many is there meant to be? Three. There's meant to be another one back there. It was just the middle one that was holding it on. <laughs> so, I'm going to have to try and find another two of these nuts. But so far I've got the penetrating fluid working its magic on this um, stubborn one in the middle here. Hopefully that will work its magic and then we'll have a um, nice you know, three bolts to undo and it's just a case of, uh, if I remember correctly, it's just a case of unclipping it from these little clips here all the way along and the bumper should come off if I remember correctly I had to do it last time when I installed this radiator and the intercooler uh, I did notice actually that this is a little bit worse for wear and also the old plugs come off. This plug came off. I don't know how long that's been off for, but it's meant to go on that locking mechanism there, for that, so the alarm goes off if the bonnet's open. So I'll put that back on when I've got the bumper off. There's the old front grille. That battery, I think, is knackered. I've had it on charge, and it just doesn't want to know, man. It just don't want to know. So it's like I'm going to have to buy another battery. This will be the third battery I've had on this since it's been sitting here. Never mind. While I'm here, I might try and find out what that booster leak is. I think it's that little hose down there. I'll have to have a look at it. But, um, yeah, I've got stuff and bolt. Bloody thing. You always come across one, don't you? I don't know what them cable ties are for. Oh, it's holding that. Uh, I forgot about that. That must have been Tom what done that. Never mind. Alright then. Sweet. Well, here we are. Um, there's the bumper. It was fairly stuck. Um, that penetrating fluid didn't really work because that's the state of one of the nuts. Snapped off. So I'm just going to make do without that. There's another two holding that side on anyway. Um, and then this is the second one on the other side it uh, was very very stubborn I couldn't couldn't get at it with my ratchet very well I could only get like well not even a click on the ratchet so what I ended up doing was using a little bit of brute force managed to get that in there and uh, in the end managed to get it off and it didn't snap so that was alright at least now I have I might have 
Well, that doesn't look like there's much of a hole there, to be honest, is there? I have a booster leak somewhere, and I don't know where it is. Um, so while I've got this bumper off, I'm going to try and hunt it down. It doesn't look like there's much of a hole there, but this is where the fog light goes, goes in, and there's a little um, holder there, and it has been rubbing against that. So that's not good, I'm going to take the fog light out altogether. But that might be a little hole, that might be a little hole. Uh, it looks like it might be, I might have to replace that pipe, actually. I don't know whether that's a hole or not, to say the truth. It's obviously a li little split there, but I don't know whether it goes all the way through. There's one there, and one there. I don't know whether they go all the way through, um, I'll find out. That won't be difficult. But uh, at least I can inspect the intercooler while I'm, while I'm, you know, here. Got this off. At least I can inspect me into cooler. Um, it's covered in um, power steering fluid because that's where it was spraying out. It's all power steering fluid all around there. That's what that is, is power steering fluid dripping down to the floor. Doesn't it? Uh, Oh well, look, we've got another leak that's appeared in the last half an hour. I'm pretty much guaranteed power steering fluid is... It's everywhere, so that'll be power steering fluid. Um, I've got to try and locate now which one it is that's um, leaking. That's been rubbing against something there. I don't know what that's been rubbing against, but it's rubbed pretty, pretty well. Might better try and find maybe the leaks on this side. I don't know. But there's a very sudden, there's that very certain boost leak somewhere. That's that one had a hole in it. Oh, is that the one I taped up with tape because it had a hole in it? That might be the one I put tape on because it had a hole in it. I'm not sure. I might take that off. I think I might replace all these clips with proper boost clamp clips. Um, instead of Jubilee clips, why I've got the bumper off, to be honest. Um, I don't know. I might, I think I'm going to have to do it properly. Well, I've washed the old bumper off because it was covered in, um, um, power steering fluid. Um, the only way I can see to find the leak, I've spent, I've been about four hours on this now, trying to, um, look at it and find out what the matter is. The only way I can find, the only way I can think of find the leak is to put um, put some fluid in it and run it up. It's the only way I can think of because I can't find any split hoses anywhere. There's there's that one hose with the little cracks in it, but them them cracks that that hose is like a, a metal hose with a rubber on the outside, and them cracks is just on the rubber. So. I don't know where the leak is, I've looked all over it and I can't find an actual hole, a split, um, anything. So the only way I can see to do it is to put fluid in it and run it up and um, just see where where it sprays out from and then that's obviously a leak, that's going to be the easiest and simplest and fastest way of doing it. The only problem is I can't do that today because I've got no fluid and I can't bother to go down the shop because I've got loads of other stuff to do. So that will be in another part of this. But as with everything with me and this car in particular it takes especially long to do everything for some reason so that's just the way it goes I'm slowly getting there though so we'll get there soon don't panic all I need to do is just slowly work my way along to it I suppose and we'll have it done sweet